I've never been to a cruise terminal, it's just me. Special turning up for Silver Sea and there being no one around, but we did later find where the people were, but there still weren't that many. There were only around 500 of us in total. This is insane. We just like set and dropped off our luggage. There's like no other passengers here at all at the moment. It's just us. Welcome, Silver Dawn. Then we came, came into the lounge and found the other passengers. Um. There weren't many, as you can see from the photo. Um, we were checking in in Venice Cruise Terminal, but the ship itself was in Fusina. So um, they checked us in in the terminal and then ship um, busters and the coach out to Fusina. It was I don't know, about a 20-minute drive. It wasn't far away at all. Check-in done to the ship, but there is no ship. <laughs> to the coach instead. We then were driven back along the bridge, back to the mainland and over to Fusina, a very industrial port where Silver Dawn was waiting for us. En route, I fangirled quite a bit, noticing this famous shipbuilder when we passed, and actually Norwegian Viva was being built there. There she is, first glimpses of the beautiful Silver Dawn. Not the best photos there from the coach window, I was very excited. Um... But yeah, beautiful, um, with all her flags out because it's her kind of adopted home port for the time being. Um, the, sh the coach dropped us off literally right by the um, gangway and we embarked. Um, we were a little bit hungry as we hadn't had any breakfast, so we made the decision to head straight up to the pool bar um, and we went to the grill um, and had some lunch. Here's the menus, they are amazing, so much choice. favorite pina coladas i didn't know whether on a, a posh ship they'd still do like slushy pina coladas oh they do and they were delicious We've had some lunch, I had a burger and Dave had a steak by the pool bar and now we're by the panorama bar. We have it to ourselves. I don't know where everyone is. <laughs> we're not allowed in our suites yet. At four o'clock, which is not long. It's about 50, 10 to four. Something like that. Oh, drinks. And the barman just came and took our order. Um, there's a few crew, um, crew guests potted around, not many. We docked right next to Fasina campsite, which is where my luggage um, thought it was on my Apple AirTag. <laughs> now I'm not, I'm not dissing camping whatsoever. If you enjoy camping and that's your thing, then that's it. I did camping with Duke of Edinburgh and that's it. No more camping. Um, actually, I lie. I did go camping with Dave a few times. Maybe I was trying to impress him once. I think it's twice. It's twice. We went twice to Cornwall. Once in the, the campsite on the top and once in the campsite by the river. Was that three days? We had fun, not we did go camping in France too, so I've been camping three times. I think I was trying to impress him at the time. Um, no, <laughs> no need to impress him. He's hung around for 15 years, so he's not going anywhere. <laughs> I hope not, anyway. Um, but yeah, we're next to the campsite, <laughs> which we clearly haven't signed up for. Um, but it's beautiful weather out here. And then, I don't know if behind me, oh, let's get it down a bit. No, maybe up. Let's refocus it, you know, on me. Is, um... Venice. We sail out past Venice later. We cannot wait to go and explore our cabin or suite, even all the, all the cabins on the ship are suites. 
um, because we had a sneaky upgrade up like five categories. Nothing to do with this and my Instagram because obviously I aren't really big on it. Um, but yeah, very exciting. We booked a Guarantee Vista Suite, which is the only suite on here. There's about six of them that just have a window, not a balcony, because, you know, it's expensive, so obviously. And yeah, we've been upgraded to the top um, level of the more basic suites. They're not basic, you know, they're, they're beautiful. With an amidship one at that and high up. So, yeah, it's a significant upgrade. Thank you, Silver Sea. And you know, just for the usual um, people that whine and moan, I have paid for this cruise. I have worked hard and paid for this. Um, Silver Sea have not given me anything for this. This is me paying. Yeah, sorry for my little whine there, but it's a bit annoying when the same two people constantly moan that I have free cruises when I don't. I pay for all my cruises. I've only had ever had one free. And that was highly hashtagged ad throughout. Um, anyway, I digress. We were soon allowed into our suites. So excited about exploring ours. then time for our muster drill which is obviously is a legal requirement before we set sail um the first part of our muster was done in our cabin watching a video and then we headed down to our muster station which was the venetian lounge um we had another demonstration there and then we were led out to the promenade deck to be shown our lifeboat uh and then muster done time to set sail we went um up to the Arts Cafe. I always want to call it the Ocean Cafe, but the Arts Cafe for a, a little drink before we um, went off to watch Sail Away. We then got ready for um, dinner in the evening and headed out for some pre-dinner drinks and saw this trolley outside with all the bottles. So in your suite, you can have a bottle or two or probably three. I don't know as many. We had two. We had a bottle of Bailey's and a bottle of gin. Dave likes gin um, in our cabin and the deliveries were happening. <laughs> we then headed to Dulce Vita, sort of the main um, bar of 